Okay, yay. Welcome everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Rita Fleming. My background's in regenerative health. I'm super passionate about this subject and I'm really excited to support you today in your transformation. So I'd love to open it up. This is really a community space where we can all learn from each other, share wins, ask questions. So if anybody has um, something that you want to celebrate, uh, something that you're learning, or a question, I'd love to open it up to you all. And if anybody has any questions, you can put them in the chat too. So go ahead and put in the chat what day you're on in your transformation. Hello. Hello. All right, no questions, guys. Day 22. Nice. Sarah, how's that going for you? I feel amazing. Yay. Second round of ULT, and I'm on day 10. Awesome. Yay. Feel free to come off mute and share your process with us. Um, any wins, any struggles, any things that you're working on. Wow. Tiffany, day 62. That's exciting. There's huge milestones that happen when we get into our first few days, our first 15 days, our first 30, 60. And then when we hit 90 days is when we hit a huge turnaround in our body, in our hormonal balance, um, and in that healthy internal terrain. And let me help these people in. Okay. Kayleen, you want to share? Hey, Rita. Um, hey. <laughs> I just have a question, actually, if you could address. Um, I have a lot of people asking questions about the ingredients, um, mm -hmm. specifically in the power shake. And yeah. I know um, I just was thinking it'd be helpful for others to know, because I know a lot of people who are really conscious of ingredients tend to steer away from, steer away from flavors. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just wondering if you could chat about why yeah. Dave does that. Oh my gosh, that's such a great question. So all of the natural flavors are organic, whole food, fruits, and veggies. So we don't do any additives or isolates. Um, the reason he has natural flavors on there is because, let me help everybody in, um, it's his own amazing blend. So like the raspberry is made of like whole food apples and, you know, like cinnamon, like I'm just saying an example, or lemon to get that last raspberry flavor. And it's his um, formulations. So that's why it says it, but it's all 100% organic whole foods. So yeah, good question. All right. Any other questions? Does that answer your question, Kayleen? Yes. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Who else wants to hop on? Okay. I can ask a quick question. This is you go ahead. Um, hi. So, hi. I have one um, cleanses, detoxes, beef, doc, detox before and had. Um, real um activity in terms of sometimes not feeling well um headaches um going to the bathroom frequently and so forth and this is not happening here mm -hmm. in fact I feel good which is surprising because i expect that you know i'm gonna mm -hmm. not be able to stay out of the bathroom that i would break out in you know skin rashes and all those different things and that hasn't happened is this normal mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's a very gentle process. And so you might still have things that come up down the way where like skin rashes can come up on cleanses when we're cleaning up our lymphatic system and the skin is just eliminating and releasing. Sometimes when we're releasing candida and fungus, we'll get these rash outbursts for a few days. Um, but really we want to focus on balancing that internal terrain. Mm -hmm. So when we have a balanced internal terrain, then we have that healthy internal ecosystem, which is what we're looking for. So it's great. This is meant to be more gentle and mild, and yet it goes really deep just because of the nutrient quality. Um, okay. One of my dear friends, she's uh, has her doctorate in Eastern medicine and she's done such deep dive cleanses. And, you know, she said she actually got more results just from the power shake. Um, and it's not because of any crazy ingredients. It's just because the way it's grown, it's so potent and nutrient dense that you're going to get those good qualities. So do you have more questions around that? I, I have, because I'm on the Island, I get fresh coconut water. And Yay. I've been using that with the power shake. It tastes amazing. Such a oh good combo. It, it, it is amazing. But um, one win, I see that I've lost about six pounds. Congratulations. And just to share quickly, I've been really enjoying the recipes. I'm mixing them up in particular. I went like 10 days without cooking anything, just raw. And so tomorrow I start my, the second cleanse. And so I see how that goes, trying to stay mm -hmm. with just the raw. But so far it's been, I like your emphasis on the word gentle, because that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And are you starting your super cleanser tomorrow? Is that what you said? Tomorrow, yes. yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. So when you start your super cleanser, it's two in the morning, two in the evening. You mm -hmm. can always slow that down if you need to or want to. Um, and then do take a little bit more gentle rest time in okay. in those 10 days so that because okay. your body is going to be releasing um what's no longer needed very well thank you so much yeah thank you thanks for sharing your wins sure hi tyra hi <laughs> um so my win is i'm on six weeks and three days in and i've lost 22 pounds so I'm super excited about that. Um, and my questions are, if I had somebody who just came back from a Mexican cancer treatment center um, mm -hmm. and they wanted to try this um, mm -hmm. with all of their different supplements that they'd be taking, what would I suggest? That's a great, great question. So that's something... We can talk a little bit more in depth then, but whenever we're dealing with cancer, we're dealing with an undernourishment and over acidosis in the body. So alkalizing is number one, and that's going to create that cellular energy, which leads to cellular repair. It's going to create that oxygenation and nutrient absorption. So we want to get that cellular absorption of nutrients. So the power shake, the green drinks, the green spectrum, um, the barley grass is really good for that. And then we also want to clean up the lymphatic system because that's the root cause of inflammation is lymphatic congestion. So the tart cherry juice really cleans up our lymphatic system and gets our kidneys filtering. So we want to open up that elimination pathway to clean the wastes out of the body to reduce that inflammation. Um, the bio fruit is amazing for cleaning up the lymphatic system, supporting that cellular energy, and also really getting that kidney filtration. Adrenals are usually really weakened um, and those kidneys and adrenals work together to get that kidney filtration. So, you know, working with her healthcare provider and seeing if she can work with one of our adrenal formulations. Um, but starting something simple like the ULT plus immune or the grain free kit and just, you know, working closely with her healthcare provider. But the biggest key components are oxygenating the body, alkalizing the body, and eliminating cellular wastes. 
And the other thing that happens is, you know, most of us, I mean, we're all exposed to glyphosate. So within 20 minutes, we get leaky gut with 20 minutes of exposure to that. So that means our toxins are leaking into our gut and spilling into our lymphatic system, which creates a systemic inflammatory response. So that biomedic is really helpful for reducing inflammation and for repairing those tight junctions so that she's actually absorbing her nutrients and that those toxins aren't leaking into her system. So that's kind of root cause, get to the foundation. Okay. So yeah. And also, what about if I had someone um, who wanted to address infertility? Ooh, yeah. And we have such amazing success with fertility with this program. And again, that comes back to undernourishment at that cellular level and then over toxicity in the body and then really supporting our endocrine system, especially our adrenals, because that impacts our fertility. So any of the like ULT programs, um, adding in the super love meal as they're just getting started preparing for pregnancy, because that has amazing adrenal and endocrine system support to balance those hormones. The gut support is gonna be huge for fertility, reducing that inflammation, reducing that toxic overload. Um, but that's, you know, nourish really deeply and that can also help prevent postpartum depletion because um, mothers give so much, um, so much of their personal resources to their baby. So really flooding the body with those micronutrients. Um, some other things that can really help are the fulvic zeolite and corella. So like doing a ULT plus immune for 30 days to 90 days before get conceiving um, and also adding in that fulvic zeolite and corella to do a heavy metal detox, a gentle heavy metal detox. And then that would be prior to, and then there's a really incredible blog on the Perium website about pregnancy that um, you can go look up and that will give you, you know, preconception, first trimester, second trimester, third trimester, and um, postpartum. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Great questions. I think there's some questions in the chat. Okay, okay. let me check, thank you. Um, what's your favorite go-to resource for people who are concerned with not getting enough protein during this program? Oh yeah. Okay. So let's see the proteins that we're getting, whether we're eating plant-based or animal-based proteins, we're only absorbing 11 to 36% of those proteins on average. And because of glyphosate, which is the main ingredient in Roundup, and that ends up in the soils, that actually stops our absorption of our essential amino acids, which are the building blocks to proteins, the building blocks to life. So your amino acids are 99% bioavailable. So you're going to be getting the building blocks for building for protein. So that's going to be more... Um, utilizable, absorbable. And so you're actually gonna have everything that you need, plus the superfoods, the micronutrients. They're so packed with your whole food vitamins and minerals that are important for strengthening and repair. And, you know, the big thing is, is the muscle tone, the health of our tissues, the health of our muscles. And when our body has a lot of acidic waste in it, a lot of toxins, those muscles are not very strong. They're really inflamed. They're really wiry. As you get the body alkaline and you add in those micronutrients and you're getting those amino acids, which are the building blocks, you're going to build really lean, strong muscle. Um, and those aminos are also, the super amino 23 is really good for your nervous system, rebuilding that. So um, that's going to cover all of your bases. And then, you know, the the greens, the dark greens in your drinks also have really good proteins. That's absorbable. And that's the key factor is 
so much of the protein we're eating, we're not absorbing, and then your kidneys have to eliminate it. So this, your body's actually absorbing and utilizing. Thanks, Rita. Yeah, do you have a favorite resource to send um, people that you like that's kind of like an introductory to the basic information? I mean, I can send this eventually, but um, do you yeah. have something that you like to lean on that's a kind of a quick and easy? Yeah, there's some good resources in the blog section, the Perium blogs on like the Super Amino 23 on like the performance kits that talks a little bit more about that utilization and absorption. Okay, great. Thanks again. Mm -hmm. And that cellular energy is what we need for building. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Um. Any other source other than Perium? Yeah, there's some great, I love Dr. Robert Morris, The Miracle Detox book, support book. That has some amazing resources in there. Um, Dr. Zach Bush has some really good resources as far as soil health and amino acid absorption um, and how that impacts our body. There's a lot of really good ones. But getting those alkaline nutrients is what's going to be the biggest strengthener to our tissues. Um, Tiffany and Katie says game changers on Netflix. Tiffany says I've had so many wins since starting. I'm excited to see what happens the next 30 to 60 days. Yeah, that's when the real breakthroughs happen. Linda. Hi, so I'm not necessarily doing the um, the detox program, but I've been um, just introduced to some of the Perium products um, that I've been using for about two months now. And um, I have a, so my biggest issue is gut health. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how to explain this without just saying, but so I, I um, split my time between two different states. And mm -hmm. every time the last two years, so I err on the side of constipation, mm -hmm. but when I go to the other state and start just living my life, I get diarrhea mm -hmm. and it's happened both times, whether I'm using Purium products or not. And I eat pretty mm -hmm. clean. Um, I do eat meat, but I'm, I eat a lot of plant-based things too. So I, I mean, I, my diet is pretty decent, but I'm just wondering, like, is there some sort of um, environmental, I don't know. It, it's just weird. Like, I don't get why that's happening. Which state are you traveling to where your so, elimination increases? So I, I live, I live most of my time in Minnesota and, but I, um, go to Utah for about four months out of the year. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I do. And I do. The one thing that I'm wondering is, does your activity level change things? Because I, I'm very active here in Utah. Like I do a lot, a lot of things. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm just wondering if my activity level makes a, a, such a huge change. Or like I, it's, it's, I don't know. I just don't understand. I, yeah. I love this question. I mean, are you around many cornfields or anything like that? In Minnesota? Mm -hmm. um, I live in the city. Okay. So I don't think, you know, not, yeah. not very close. Well, our environment definitely impacts our microbiome. So like the biggest impact on our gut health is really the environment that, that we're in, the air that we're breathing, the microorganisms that we're around. So we want that biodiversity. And Utah, are you getting into um, the mountains? I mean, I'm not direct. I don't directly live in the mountains, but um, I'm very close to them. Mm -hmm. um, and I do like, again, I'm out in the sunshine. I'm out in, you yeah. know, like more so than in the winter in Minnesota. Um, for sure. You know, for sure. Out. It feels cleaner out here. <laughs> yeah. So when we get into a cleaner environment or if our nervous system is more relaxed in that environment, your body feels safe to let go of toxins. Okay. That get built up. And so if you're having, you know, diarrhea or a big elimination, that's your body trying to eliminate acidic wastes out of the body. Um, also, you want to work with hydration because, you know, if you're up in the mountains or if you're increasing in elevation, yep. 
Um, definitely hydration is a factor. So adding in that cocoa hydrate, especially if you are eliminating a lot of water, you want to stay hydrated. You also want to work on continuing to increase that alkalinity in your gut. So like the green drinks, the power shake, the, the bio fruit, the green spectrum, you know, all of those. So I did, with start with, I did start with the epigenesis. Okay. Um, and I did, I do have some power shake now, but boy, does that make my stomach go crazy? It, it, <laughs> I had one, one shake and it was miserable, mm-hmm. very close, you know, very soon afterwards. So I haven't drank any more of that. Yeah. Go slow on it. Cause if our, if we do have that, um, acidic environment internally, when you add in that alkalinity, it's like your cells just start to eject waste. <laughs> okay. So you can, go, you can go slowly on it. Um, okay. Like just take like one scoop instead of five or whatever the serving is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Start slow and that's going to oxygenate the body, the, the um, gut as well. And then when you have that propensity towards constipation, that really is a reflection of our nervous system health and our adrenals, um, as well as, you know, hydration. So I would add in the ionic elements to make sure that you're getting all of your um, minerals. Okay. And that's going to really support your adrenal and nervous system health. And then I would add in an adrenal support, um, either the kids and focus the white American ginseng or, um, the be energetic are all amazing adrenal support. I think I saw the be energetic and now that has caffeine in it, correct? Nope. It doesn't have caffeine. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I thought it did. Okay. Nope. Just herbs that really support your adrenal health, which addresses inflammation, helps with anxiety, helps the nervous system, helps with mood regulation. Like there's so much, and it also helps to move the bowels. Okay. Okay. Um, so when you're, um, yeah, that's what, where I would focus on and just, it takes a while to change that internal terrain, but the more you just keep alkalizing, um, so it should, then you're saying it should settle on, or is there something I should do different when I'm in Minnesota versus Utah? Um, I would do the adrenal support for sure um, throughout. And I would say it's more of an internal terrain condition. So if you get the body alkaline and then um, as you start to, have you done any of the parasite cleansing yet? I have not. I do have it. I was kind of scared to do it after I it mm-hmm. so totally turned around, you know, like I couldn't go, I couldn't go, I couldn't go. And then all of a sudden I'm in the bathroom all, all the time. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that could be really helpful because your body's trying to eliminate. It's trying to get rid of wastes and parasites and acids and toxins. So that's just going to support your process and you can okay. take it slow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. But just make sure to stay really hydrated. And, you know, as you get, that internal terrain more and more alkaline, then healthy organisms are only going to live in the gut. (laughs) Okay. So keep adding in your fruits and your veggies and just uh, let it eliminate out. Cause again, it's, it's just a sign of an inflammatory response where you're going from constipation to diarrhea. So Mm -hmm. really continue with that biomedic work towards that parasite cleansing and keep adding in that alkalinity. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Shannon. Hey there. I wonder if you could speak to in the chat, someone asked uh, or or mentioned that they're having bloating when they take the biomedic. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Okay. Let me go to the chat. So bloating with the biomedic. Um, Okay. So the purpose of the biomedic is to grab onto mycotoxins, molds, candida, fungus, um, glyphosate, heavy metals. And so when there's bloating, it can be a die off of these microorganisms and a change of this internal terrain. Um, so, you know, just continue through the process. It will pass. Um, it usually takes a few days to a week. 
but just keep flooding the body with, again, those alkaline nutrients, your fruits and your veggies and your superfoods. And as those inflammatory things that it's removing start to get eliminated, those symptoms will start to pass. But also, you know, getting into that parasite cleanse is going to be important for you um, to move through that. So oftentimes it's just a die off of, you know, candida and these different things. Okay, what water do you recommend? I mean, if you have access to fresh green water, you're so lucky. That's my number one, because um, that's living water, you know, as long as you know it's from a good source. Otherwise, I just do filtered water and I'll add in those ionic elements to make sure I'm getting those minerals. And I like to add the cocoa hydrate to it to get that, those electrolytes. And I like to add the bio fruit to it um, to really clean up the lymphatic system. So I'm sipping on the water, the cocoa hydrate and the bio fruit all day, and then adding ionic elements in there when I feel like I need um, those deeper minerals. But, you know, living water is your spring water, but also your fresh fruits and your veggies are living water sources. It's H3O too. So that is a deeper source of hydration. So make sure you're getting plenty of fresh fruits and high, you know, hydrating fruits, um, ripe in season, that kind of thing. Cucumbers really you know, really hydrating melons, really hydrating, because that's going to hydrate your body inside your cells. <laughs> and that's also going to relieve and pull out inflammation inside the cells. So make sure you're getting plenty of that um, in there first. And the Kangen machine, I, I've heard mixed things about it. I've heard that it doesn't actually hydrate inside the cell that you're getting, you know, that alkalinity and that hydration outside of the cell, but you can actually get um, a chronic state of cellular dehydration because it's not going all the way in. Whereas your fresh fruits, your bio fruit, your cocoa hydrate, that's going to enter into the cell um, and support that cellular ATP, that cellular energy, which is what heals our mitochondria, which is creates that cellular repair and regeneration, which is what creates that DNA and RNA repair. So that cellular energy that you're getting from those hydrating fruits and superfoods and foods is what actually turns on your healthy genes and turns off unhealthy genes. Okay, let's see if there's any other questions. So I shouldn't be eating bananas, dates, or my soaked organic prunes and the juice they accumulate. You can, I'm not sure if I understand that right. Um, bananas and dates and prunes, like prunes and dates, it is nice to rehydrate them and you can drink the water that you've rehydrated them with. There's no problem with that. Bananas and dates are your sweet fruits. So they're more your rebuilding fruits, like really nourishing. Um, whereas like your berries are a bit more astringent and those are more cleansing. So making sure, um, you know, for that deeper cleansing, you're also getting those subacidic sub fruits in. And then just fruit on its own, you know, at least 15 minutes before other foods for proper digestion. All right, any other questions? I know we're about to close up the call. Thanks everyone. But yeah, you know, really have, um, let's see. Is it normal to still experience some bloating gas even after finishing the parasite cleanse? Yes, yes it is. So usually most people have to do a few months of parasite cleanse to really get to the root of it, but you'll start with your first 10 days and that's going to start to address um, what's going on, the parasites that are in your body. And then 
20 days later, you'll do another 10 day parasite cleanse and that addresses any eggs or anything, um, the second generation. So doing those two, um, the first 10 days and then 20 days later, doing the next 10 days is really important to get, um, through those deeper cycles and parasites, what happens is the waste that they eliminate accumulates in our lymphatic system. So as you start to eliminate those parasites, you're going to experience symptoms of, you know, maybe, maybe anger, maybe a little bit of emotional ups and downs and swings, maybe some cravings for sugars or breads or things that are going to um, proliferate the parasite's life. But as you get to the other side of that, and as those parasites die off and are eliminated, then you start to feel this peace and calm in your nervous system and really come home to yourself. So parasites have a really Im big impact on our nervous system. Um, is it 20 days after day 10? Um, okay. So yeah, it's 20 days after you finish your initial, after day 10, after you finish your parasite cleanse. Yeah. So anytime, you know, you're experiencing some bloating or some symptoms or discomfort or emotional discomfort or pain and inflammation, this is the body cleansing out toxins, like cleansing out lymphatic congestion and pain areas. Um, and then on the other side, it's going to leave those tissues so much stronger and healthier. So yeah, I can definitely, I always, we always post the replays in our regenerative health app. So I'll get this replay up this evening for everybody um, to share. And thank you all so much for being here. We're so here for you. The work that you're doing is amazing. It's not always easy, but it's so rewarding. And anytime I've had a big breakthrough in my health or in my life, it's come with growth and change, right? Where you experience a bit of discomfort um, physically and emotionally. And then on the other side of that discomfort is a big breakthrough and our mental and physical well-being and a deeper level of freedom. So we're always here for you guys. One last question about some of the recipes. Yes. Go ahead. I noticed um, some that you have some fruit with dinner. Yeah, that's fine. I would just, what I do to get my fruit in, oh, it looks like we got to head out. What I do is I get my tons of fruit in before breakfast or before lunch or before dinner so that I'm getting that alkalinity and that hydration to really saturate my cells and create that cellular energy. And I add in my superfoods. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll add in more calories, but that's what I start with. Like, and that's what I'll eat while I'm prepping dinner and such. Um, and there is, you know, deeper things of food combination of like not mixing fruits and veggies, but that's going a bit deeper. And that's for people that have like a weakened pancreas and have a hard time digesting. So um, if, if you've really come far in your digestive journey, then you don't have to worry about that as much. But adding in those food combination principles can be a really big game, game changer when you're working on your digestion. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Appreciate you all. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And we'll see you guys next week. Thank Bye. you, Rita. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.